Welcome to all. We are discussing today about the subphylum known as the cephalochordata. They are called as cephalochordata because in them the notochord and the nerve cords are found extended from head to the tail region and hence they are called as the cephalochordates. Cephalo meaning what? Cephalo means head. Okay. Now you must also know that all the cephalochordates are found in shallow marine water and one thing to be noticed here is that that all the fundamental chordate characters remain throughout life means the larva and the adult both show the chordate characters and therefore the cephalochordates are considered as first complete chordate animals. They are also making burrows in the sand and they come at the night outside the burrows and that's why they are called as the nocturnal organisms. Their body is laterally compressed just like the fish and also their body is segmented. Head is totally absent in them. The brain is also reduced in them and body is divided into two parts. One is known as the trunk and another is known as the tail they are not having any sort of the paired appendages but they have a middle layer fin in them which is unpaired. Blood vascular system is closed tight means blood is not found in open spaces. Respiratory pigment is absent and the elementary canal in them is complete and the buccal opening is covered from all the four sides by an oral hood. And just beneath this oral hood is present a very important organ known as the wheel organ which is also called as ciliated organ of Muller. Now the question arises that what is the role of this wheel organ or the ciliated organ of the Muller? So it helps in ingestion of the food. How? It produces circular currents in the water body. Hence, we can also say that they are ciliary feeders. So, the role of the wheel organ or the ciliated organ of the muller is to help in ingestion of food by producing the water currents. Now, the question arises that how in them the excretion occur? So, protonephridia are present for excretion in the form of the flame cells or the solenocyte. Not only this, Hatschek's nephridium are also present which helps in excretion. Nervous system in them is in the form of dorsal tubular hollow nerve cord which is the primary character of the chordates that the nervous system that is the CNS is dorsal tubular hollow nerve cord. They are unisexual organisms means sexes are separate, male and female are separate. Fertilization in them is external and development is indirect means larva is found which is somewhat free swimming fish like larva. Okay, And the best example of the cephalochordata is the branchiostoma. It is also called as the amphioxus. It is also called as lens slit. So thanks a lot for watching my video. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.